Joining us now is Bill Northey, Under Secretary for the USDA and uh, one of the good guys. And just so glad <laughs> to, to have you serving uh, the farmers, of course, as a working farmer as well. But uh, uh, USDA, you, especially with, with what uh, you kind of help oversee, uh, you've been busy. Let's first kind of maybe go through that list. Uh, the top of the mind of farmers is uh, uh, market facilitation. The next tranche looks like it is uh, in the queue as we speak. It is. Uh, so our, our part of responsibilities, Farm Service Agency, NRCS, and, and Crop Insurance Risk Management Agency. Out of FSA is those MFPs, and, and, uh, and we've announced, the Secretary announced, we will have a second round of payments of this, which will be 25% of the total. Producers should have received already 50% of the total. Of course, we do have a end date for sign-up of December 6th. So producers after that, uh, unless something extends, would not be able to sign up for that program. But we are make, looking at making that second round of, of payments in this round in this uh, MFP. That'll total um, three to three and a half billion dollars in that second mm -hmm. round, about fifty percent of what a producer got in the first round. So it's just kind of the way the, the plan was. The plan is working. It is. It is now, and I sure hope the other part of the plan. I hope. We're right. getting closer to an agreement. Right. That's right. certainly, this is to bridge to that next agreement where we not only get those markets back, soybeans and pork uh, but and cotton, but we also get those new markets that we need as well. You have also, uh, working with those who were faced with challenge uh, because of prevent planning and just because of delays, uh, delaying crop insurance premium payments to get some of these things ironed out. We are. We're seeing a lot of harvest issues in, in lots of part of the country. I was in uh, North Dakota on Friday and Saturday this last week, and they only have 15 percent of their corn harvested with snow on the ground and cold, freezing weather and just a real mess. Um, so we had delayed the, the due date of those, those premiums, those crop insurance premiums from October 1 to December 1. We're now delaying that another 60 days to February 1. So if you make your crop insurance payment before February 1, we'll not have any interest due. Uh, interest would start after that. But in the interest of folks having issues in cash flow, us being able to settle insurance claims, it makes sense to be able to delay that. Right. Uh, also, uh, gosh, uh, uh, elections also going on for those farmers who want to serve uh, in their local boards. We do have that, and so certainly our county uh, board system at Farm Service Agency is, is a great system, uh, but it takes people being able to serve, and we certainly encourage folks to do that, um, and then to make sure for others to go out and make your choices and make your votes known, and it's important to be able to get that done as well. I'm talking with Bill Northey, Undersecretary at USDA. Let's take a break. We're going to talk CRP coming up in just a moment.